Hey, what is going on everybody? Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. So I picked this up from Walmart. This is the, uh, the Lanard, 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 um, the Lanard Kong Skull Island mega figure, uh, 18 inches, posable figure. Um, not much articulation. You can't move the legs. You can move the arms, move the head all around. Um, might be, this might be hollow around here. Actually, it feels pretty solid. Let me, uh, let me open this guy up. But, um, the reason why I'm, um, shooting this video is, and I got this at Walmart, um, the reason why I'm shooting this video is that this guy is on clearance for $10. Um, so that is pretty amazing. Um, you know, if it, the price lowers even more, you know, if it goes down to like $5, I'll probably pick up another one, but I thought this was a pretty good price. Um, I, I know originally this came out, when this came out, this was about $29.99, I believe. $24 or $29. Uh, um, so, you know, more than half the price is slashed. Um, I really enjoyed Kong Skull Island and I wanted to shoot this quick video. I didn't even set up my two trifle boards. Again, two trifle boards. Um, but I wanted to, uh, I want to shoot this quick video just to let you guys know this is, uh, yeah, this is quite a deal. At least I thought so. Um, you know, this is my first King Kong figure. And hopefully, hopefully Lanard, hopefully they get the license to Godzilla. I would, I would definitely love um, an 18 inch mega figure of Godzilla. I know that they're gonna do that whole shared universe with King Kong and Godzilla. They're building up to that massive, that massive fight. Um, they started that feud you know, it's a 50, uh, is it maybe a 50 years, maybe a 50 year feud. And, uh, who knows who's going to get put over. Um, you know, Vince McMahon's going to, he's going to book that fight. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, but I mean, can you even, can you even imagine this is going to be, this is one of the mega feuds. It's going to be like, it's going to be like Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho, Alpha versus Omega, or, uh, you know, it's going to be. It's gonna be one of those awesome feuds. This, this awesome, you know, the kaiju versus, you know, is it? Are they both considered kaiju? I don't know. Um, the battle of the anthropomorphic uh, mega monsters. You know, they, there you go. But Lanard's doing a, a few big things, man. I mean, you don't see any visible GI Joe figures out on the shelves. So, you know, Lanard is, you know, they're doing pretty big things. I mean, with uh, the core, you know, like uh, since uh, G.I. Joe is not doing anything right now, you know, the core is doing some uh, some some big things as well. Um, you could get a lot of action figures. You could build, you could build your army for, you know, for a lower, for a low price. And if you're good with the, uh, the paintbrush, you could, you could customize your action figures and make them to look like G.I. Joe's. So, you know, Lanard's, Lanard's on the come up. So, yeah, that's my video for today. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. Definitely check out, go to your local Walmart and, and pick this guy up. Or if you want to play the long game. I, I, th I do think that uh, you know, people are probably going to pick this up at that price once the word starts spreading. Um, $10 is a pretty good price for, for an 18 inch figure. You know, no matter, no matter if there's lack of articulation, that's, that's okay. Um, yeah, quite an awesome figure. I, I'm re I don't know if I'm gonna, I might want to, you know, uh, get some black, black paint and then get some thinner and just, I want, I want to get all the details of his fur. Just, I want it to pop really nicely. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna I'm gonna appreciate this figure for what it is. It's uh, it's awesome. 